everyone. I wanted to make another video on how to blend a sky. I've received a lot of emails saying that some people's paint is drying too fast or people are getting too many streaks in the paint when they're blending from dark to light. So I'm just going to do a quick video from start to finish on how to blend the sky from dark to light. Um, you're going to want to have your blender brush or brushes ready. I like to use two, one for light and one for dark. Um, these brushes have been soaking in water for a couple hours and I just wiped them off and wring them out. They're pretty dry but there's still some moisture in the brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, from start to finish, I'm going to add the paint to the palette, uh, mix it, put it on the canvas and blend it. It should only take about four or five minutes total to blend a small canvas. So I have my palette. All this paint on here is just dry. Um, it's hard with acrylic paint to always wash your palette off and get it clean. Plus I kind of like the look of this abstract painting on my palette. So what you want to do is first I'm going to start out with cerulean blue and I'm just going to put just a small amount. And then I'm going to add my cobalt blue, an even smaller amount right next to it. And then up here, I'm going to add some of the liquid white. I'm using the apple barrel white. And basically, to start off, I'm going to take one of my brushes. I'll have the other one handy here. And I'm going to mix the two blues together. So just mix the two blues together. And that's not enough paint. So if you're not using enough paint, it's going to dry really quickly. So I'm going to add more cerulean blue and then about half that amount in cobalt blue. Oops, that's too much. Okay, and then just mix that together. So you're going to have quite a bit of paint on your brush to begin with. Sometimes it will make it a little bit easier blending if you just grab just a little bit of white and then mix that in. It's not going to change the color too much. Um, it will lighten it a little bit, but it, will might, it might make it a little bit easier to blend. Okay, now I'm ready to paint the sky. I have my brush loaded with paint. And I'm going to do like I did in lesson one. I'm just going to do it a little more quickly and I'm going to paint each third of the canvas a lighter and lighter color. So we're going to start with a dark color, go to a medium blue, and then go with white and then blend it all together. So you have your dark blue mixture already on your brush. And just go ahead and with some crisscross strokes, apply the blue to about the top third of the canvas. Okay, and now what you want to do is you want to quickly go with that same brush and just add some white to it. You don't even have to mix the white into the blue. Just grab some white. There will be enough blue paint on the brush to get a medium blue color. And then take that color and start right in the middle and paint the next third of the canvas and work your way up into the dark blue. And then go all the way up to the top. Okay, so I have the blue somewhat blended up into the top. Now what I want to do is just take some light brush strokes and blend it back down in through the medium blue. And then the same thing, just go back up to the top. Now you might have a few streaks that you can see here and there. Those might not show up when it dries because um, it will dry darker and it will kind of mix together. So you might see a few streaks, but don't worry too much about getting it perfect. Uh, just try to get it blended as well as you can and then let it dry and you'll probably be pretty happy with how it, how it ends up. So now what you want to do is you want to go with your new brush and go directly to the white 
and just start from the bottom and work your way up into the medium blue. And once you get to this line, uh, stay on this spot for a few moments and blend that line out pretty well. And then start working your way up again. Okay, and now I probably have too much paint on the brush. So I'm gonna wipe that off completely here. I'm not washing it off, I'm just wiping the excess paint off. And I'm gonna start on the bottom again and just blend it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing and wipe the brush off again. And then start on the bottom and blend up. Going a little bit higher each time. And then I'm going to wipe the brush. And then one more time, I'm going to start blending it up. And then I'm going to go all the way up to the top. And as I'm getting up to the top here, I'm going to go pretty light. And then that's pretty well blended. And then I'm going to go back to my liquid white again and start at the bottom and just blend that in some more, just so it's really bright white at the bottom. And then if I have too much of paint on the brush, just wipe it off. And then very lightly and slowly blend it up. Doing a sky like this should only take about two or three minutes. It really shouldn't take too long. You can always wipe your brush off and if you have too much blue in the bottom, like I think there's a little too much blue, you can just go back to your white and start again and then just blend it up. It should stay wet long enough for you to blend it. Um, if it's drying too fast, you might not be soaking your brushes long enough or uh, you might be in a climate where it's really dry and you might have to spray your canvas with water before you begin. Um, but really it should only take about two to five minutes at the most to uh, blend the sky. And I do have a few streaks in here, but as it dries, those will disappear. And so that's a quick and easy way to blend the sky. If you have any questions, just email me at tim at timgani.com. Thanks for watching.